Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, many people, really a surprising number, have alerted me to the IBF lightweight championship fight that's going to take place tomorrow between champion Miguel Vasquez and unbeaten challenger Denis Safikov, who apparently has a lot of sharp gamblers believing in him. So much so that against a champion who I personally consider to be one of the very best fighters in the sport pound for pound, <clears throat> Safikov is only a mild underdog, right? Now, for those who don't know who Denis Safikov is, understand he's a shorter fighter. He's 5'5", right? Vasquez is 5'10". There's going to be a height dynamic in this fight. And Safikov knows how to use his height to his advantage. He's able to bend at the waist. He's hard to find. He tucks his head. He's hard to hit with a jab. His best punch is his left hand. He throws it from way out. If he hits you with, you, with it and hurts you, he then can step inside, can shorten his punches, and can go to work on your body. Right? Significantly, he doesn't have much of a right jab. His game is really upper body movement, hiding his head, throwing a left hand, then coming in and working you over. Taller fighters find that they just can't handle this smaller dynamo. There's a film here on YouTube of him against Mensa, and you'll notice that he's the one on his front foot hunting down and knocking down multiple times the taller Mensa, right? He hits hard, but I believe in the sport of boxing, there's hype and then there's real. In my opinion, Miguel Vasquez is so real that if it were announced today that he were to fight a fighter I think the world of, Juan Manuel Marquez at 140 pounds, I would not hesitate to take Miguel Vasquez in that fight. I believe Vasquez has the kind of game, and I'm talking about a guy who's the champ at 135. I think Vasquez has the kind of game to get Floyd Mayweather all kinds of trouble. Right? Vasquez understands that boxing has a rhythm. And Vasquez is like a jazz player. Right? Think about My Favorite Things by John Coltrane. Where he's in the rhythm, he's outside the rhythm, somehow it all sounds right. That's Miguel Vasquez. Vasquez is a master at going off cadence behind a spectacular jab, right? He can hit you when you don't expect it, even when you know he's a great jabber. He moves well. In my opinion, he's one of the best movers in the sport of boxing. More importantly, he's a major chess player. It looks like he doesn't have a lot of power until he needs it. Then he takes out guys. Then he hurts guys. There's a tape here online of him against Ahmed Diaz, very tough fighter, where Vasquez deconstructs him, figures out exactly how to hurt him, then starts firing blistering straight right hands without any jab ahead of it. He's leading with power shots that literally just catch Diaz, flush. Diaz is 
visibly dazed and confused, right? This is, of course, only part of a game that includes hand speed, foot speed, and really some of the best timing in the sport. Now, while a lot of wise guys like the underdog in this fight, I like the champion, Miguel Vasquez. Right After looking at Adrian Broner's performance against Marcos Maidana, I would take Vasquez over Adrian Broner in a heartbeat. Let me point out that I have a video that predates Broner's fight against Marcos Maidana where I talk about how I would take Vasquez over Broner. Right? So, what I want you to do is to look hard at this fight. Understand the champion Vasquez, who has lost to people like Saul Alvarez and Timothy Bradley, right? The champion Vasquez is only a mild favorite. You're getting less than a minus 160 on Vasquez, right? Understand his opponent is unbeaten and has a lot of gamblers here online telling me that this has upset written all over it, right? I don't believe this fight starts until Safikov shows that he can get by Vasquez's jab. I believe Safikov, a southpaw, is going to have a very hard time with Vasquez's straight right hand. I believe Safikov, the shorter man, who likes to get inside, is going to have a hard time finding Vasquez. I'm expecting Vasquez's jab to be popping all night long. I also believe that if Safikov is fortunate enough to get inside on Vasquez, what he's going to find is that Vasquez can operate inside. Right? I believe this is one of boxing's undiscovered jewels. I think Miguel Vasquez is a serious player in the sport. Right. Um, put another way, as I think about the guys around him, as I think about, dare I say, Mikey Garcia, if Mikey Garcia were to fight Miguel Vasquez, here again, against a much bigger name, I would take Miguel Vasquez. I think this guy's real. I think talent matters more than hype. I'm going with the IBF lightweight champion here, Miguel Vasquez. Let me also point out, too, that, you know, Vasquez fights Canelo. There aren't really long tapes of those fights. The first fight, I'm not even sure if that was taped. The second fight, I've only seen bits and pieces of it, and I can tell you that the little bits and pieces that I've seen of the Canelo Vasquez rematch has Vasquez looking pretty good to me. Now Vasquez lost to Timothy Bradley. Vasquez is the kind of guy who admits that Bradley did some things better than he did that night. Right? But I also believe that Timothy Bradley himself is underrated. Understand Bradley is still unbeaten and folks need to come to grips with the fact that if Bradley beats Manny Pacquiao in the rematch and if Bradley then beats Juan Manuel Marquez if Marquez gets by Mike Alvarado then Bradley quite frankly would have a claim that this is his era right it would ultimately have to be decided in the ring against Floyd Mayweather. Assuming Mayweather gets by Amir Khan, folks, these are tough fights, right? But just understand, the fact that Vasquez lost to Bradley doesn't tell me that Vasquez is anything other than an elite world-class champion, right? So, keep an eye on Mikael Vasquez. I'm expecting him to beat Denis Safikov. But just understand that there's a lot of sharp money 
right? Serious boxing gamblers who have circled this fight on their calendar and who firmly believe that Safikov is going to pull the upset. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.